Hey everybody, my name is Taylor, this is my channel, I try stuff, and let's just cut to the chase, shall we? Last month, I got the opportunity to go to Britain for the BJC, the British Juggling Convention. They were kind enough to invite me out there to do some teaching and hanging out and juggling and all of my favorite things. It was so much fun. This has just been a good year for fests, you know? Like, it was great. I had only ever been to Britain once before and that was for the EJC, the European Juggling Convention in 2019. And that one was not as good of an experience for me for various reasons, mostly because I had just gotten off the plane from Afghanistan and headed straight to the European Juggling Convention. And my brain was just a little bit not great. It was it was hurting a lot. And they lost my luggage. It was just not fun. It was not a great convention for me. But it wasn't at the fault of the EJC at all. But it was definitely time for me to get back on the horse in England. It's not a very good metaphor. It was definitely time for me to head back to England and get a better impression of it than I did the first time. And boy, did it deliver. British jugglers, you're so great. I had so much fun. I met so many great people. I ate a whole bunch of jacket potatoes, which I learned are just baked potatoes. I didn't sleep hardly at all because that's how conventions work and I wouldn't have it any other way. It was an awesome experience. Big thank you to everybody at the BJC who took time to come up to me and compliment me on my tutorials and tell me that they're patrons and everyone who came to my workshops. Overall, offered really nice positive feedback about what I do. It really warms my heart to see the actual faces of the people who are watching my videos. And I really appreciated you saying hi. I wanted to do a special shout out to Alexander, whose dad was kind enough to come say hi to me at BJC. Alexander, if you're watching, Thanks for watching. I didn't film a ton at the BJC, but I did get some stuff. A lot of them are all kind of disjointed and random, but I really wanted to share them with you. And so I just figured I'd just smoosh them all into a video like this. So let's look at them together. Okay, first I took a train. I love trains, like a lot. <laughs> Riding trains in Europe is just so much better because they work correctly and just public transit's a thing and that's really nice. So I got to go on a train. I'm not even kidding, it was a highlight for me. I really like trains. A train! There were a lot of shows at the convention. One of the shows was Luke Burridge's full like hour long act. That was really fun. I'd never seen him live. I pretty much grew up watching his sight swap performance routine on the internet and I got to see that one live and that was a highlight for me. So that was fun. I did a whole bunch of awesome workshops. I think I ended up doing like eight workshops or seven, seven or eight. I signed up originally for three, I think. And then just every day I kept getting excited and being like, no, I wanna do another one. And I'd write my name on a card and you could put the card up on the schedule and people could, could see it and show up. I just really like teaching workshops. So I taught a lot of workshops. I taught a lot of my normal ones like four ball mess, clay motion juggling, video and social media. I taught one on Peruvian mess, which was really fun. And I took a video with all of my attendees. Thanks for coming, everybody. There were a bunch of like balloon workshops. I think there was a balloon room, which is just wonderful. One guy had attached balloons to his poi. I think he taught a workshop on it. And I got a clip of him just spinning his poi around with a little dragon balloon on it. My favorite thing about this clip, I think this sums up jugglers really well. My favorite thing about this clip is this guy is doing just this weird awesome thing with this elaborate balloon art, which is already very abnormal. And then like halfway through the clip, a grown man just comes in on a skateboard and then leaves. And it's just great. Everything about that clip makes me happy. I still watch it a lot. There were a lot of skateboard stuff happening. A lot of people learning some like weird new skateboards, a lot of kids. I love stuff like that. Going to a juggling festival is just like a big sleepover almost. Like you're just trying all these weird, it's just play. It's one of the only places I've seen where adults really know how to play and have fun in just this purest sense. The venue was gorgeous, by the way. The main area was really nice. It was in a school and it was a fancy looking school and the juggling space was in the gym and it wasn't the biggest gym, but because you could also be in any other part of the school, 
it didn't feel really cramped or anything. People were spread out. People camped on the field of the school. I don't like camping with juggling. I love camping and I love juggling, but I don't like them together. So I, I slept at the hotel. For some reason, I think people think I'm qualified to do things and I judged a couple competitions. I judged the like young British juggler competition. I forgot what it's called. It's like by Jati or something like British juggler, young juggler of the year. I don't know. They all kept saying it like it was a really normal word and it's not. It's a weird word. It's a weird acronym, but I judged it and it was a stressful competition. The person was like, oh, you'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then we get there and I'm like next to like two people who have literally master's degree in like theater and performance. And we, they gave us like notes to fill out for each performer, like as feedback. And as the acts were going, they were all writing these freaking beautifully eloquent essays with good feedback. And I just like panicked. My papers literally just said, sorry, I suck at taking notes. You did good. <laughs> I also didn't really get any clips from that because I was judging, but it was great. Phenomenal competition. The girl who won was so good. She qualified eight balls at the end of her act. Eight balls on stage and she's like 13. Incredible. I don't know her name off the top of my head, but she's great. So I judged the Bajati-ish competition. They also asked me to judge Battle Night, which is like a freestyle, like rap battle or street dance style performance competition thing. I love it. It's one of my favorite competitions that has come out of juggling. It started in Mexico. It's awesome. And I don't always love to go to competitions, but I love going to that one and I love judging it. I've judged it a few times. So here are some clips from that. I met so many great people, like I said, and we nerded out a bunch about site swap, like specifically turning sync site swaps into async site swaps and vice versa. And we did that at like 4 a.m. and it was great. For like four hours or something one day, I had a group of people and we were talking about visualizing juggling in different ways and notating juggling as well, but specifically visualizing it almost like in a synesthesia way. And that was really fun. I don't wanna get into it because it was a lot, but we were like taking terrible notes on this paper that was on the wall that said like cash only. And afterward, I just looked at this mess of a paper. It was so all over the place and great. And I took a picture of it and I, I wanna share it with you. I love jugglers, I really do, it's great. The main show, wonderful, so good. I think there was only one main show. They all blend together, so if it was more than one show, I'm sorry. There was, I think there was actually more than one show, but I'm gonna pretend like it was one show. My friend Dominic performed. He was great. I'd never seen him perform before. I know him from Instagram and it was great to meet him and see him juggle and his act was great. My friend Maggie performed, who's just the awesomest person and also a wonderful, beautiful act. I really liked it. She's going to circus school and it just shows. It's beautiful, it's fun, it's creative, it's quirky, it's great. 
The Hoop Troop performed, always solid, and it was fun to see them again. I got to see La Flaca perform, and she is always good. I've seen her act a few times, and it never disappoints. Spencer Androli performed, it blew me away. Somebody who is that good at juggling, just technical juggling, really shouldn't be able to also be great at performing, but somehow he does it. Great job, Spencer. Games. I love games. Games are my favorite. I did really poorly in five ball endurance and I don't want to talk about it. Some of the other games were great. Here are some highlights. There was combat juggling, fight night, hosted by Luke Burridge, that was intense. <laughs> As you know, if you watch my channel, I don't play combat. It's not, I, it's it's dangerous and scary and I don't like it. It is fun to watch and the Europeans are very into it and very good at it. So that was fun to watch snippets of and it was intense and somebody got a concussion. So that's not great, but he was fine. So I feel pretty validated in my not playing combat. I didn't get that moment on video either where he got it. I actually didn't see it. Luke Burridge on his channel, he posts a lot of stuff and he hosts Fight Night, so he probably posted something about it. So if you want to go deep dive into what happened, maybe he shows it in his channel. <laughs> hey, so this is a secret, don't tell anybody, but I passed at BJC. I don't like passing, I don't pass a lot. I find it really annoying, but I passed and I didn't hate it. It was pretty fun. <laughs> it was a really weird pattern and I, I enjoyed it. I also made a great friend who was doing spinning stars or doppo stars or flipers, whatever you want to call them. They're really fun. I did a video a while back when I was trying to learn how to do it and it was hard without much guidance. No, 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 no. I met a friend who was just killing it and he did so much cool stuff with it. My brain exploded with excitement and I've been working on it a bit since then. It's probably the prop that I'm most excited about at the moment. I know somebody asked that in my Q&A poll. That's the thing that's been really exciting my brain. On the last night at like 5 a.m. night. There were all sorts of funny shenanigans happening in the gym. <laughs> Jugglers kept getting like basketballs stuck behind the basketball hoop and then they were trying to get them out and that was funny. I was just watching that with amusement. And the gym we were in had like big nets that were attached to like one side of the gym and on the ceiling. You see them in school gyms sometimes. I don't really know what they're for. There were a lot of school balls that were stuck in those nets, like volleyballs and basketballs and things like that. Things that were unrelated to the jugglers. And I thought it was really sweet how like that last night, a bunch of jugglers were taking time to try to get them all out by like hitting them with things. It was just like a silly game that they developed. And I thought it was so sweet because it was like helping but also fun. Like only jugglers would spend an hour trying to do that. At one point, an acro person stacked all of these chairs up and then did like an acro move. I think I got a clip of that. It was like at the very end, so I didn't get the full thing, but it was pretty impressive. <laughs> A sweet guy, he serenaded me with a song on like the last hour of the festival, and that was nice. So here's a clip from that. Taylor Tries. All right, this is going out for Taylor Tries on her YouTube video. <laughs> Lovely sunny day in England. Only get to heaven when you've been out of hell. So you want to live at once, so you might as well. That's what the good Lord said to me. Keep it short and keep it clean. Come on, baby, you know what I mean. You only get to heaven when you be a new hell. All right, we're done.
just uh, thank you, Eric. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. You can do it, baby. Yeah. Come on, Eric. Woo! Dang. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> One of the things that kept coming up throughout BJC was like every time I would say the word water, like I need a drink of water, people would giggle or <laughs> point out how weird it sounds when I say water because you know, in Britain they say water. So I guess water sounds really weird. It just kept happening. Like a lot of people kept commenting on it. And one of my very favorite people in the world, Ben Cornish especially, was just giving me all sorts of crap for it. And then I would give him crap. So we filmed this cute little exchange. Hey, Taylor Glenn. Hey. What do I have on my head? Water. 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 This is water. This is water. This is water. 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 <laughs> water. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> and that was adorable. So if you are going to Britain anytime soon, the only thing I really recommend that you brush up on is your pronunciation of the word water. Because they will constantly giggle at you if you try to ask for some water. But it's adorable and it's fun, so it's fine. So that pretty much sums up all of the footage that I got at the BJC. I got a lot of other footage from Britain and I wanna make a separate video about that. I keep an eye out for that video coming up soon where I just talk about the rest of my adventure in Britain because I stayed for a week after the BJC. But that was my experience at the BJC. It was so much fun. It's expensive for me to get out there, but I might start a BJC fund so that next year I can try to go because it was just really enjoyable. It was the closest to feeling like IJ of all the fests that I've been to. And IJ is my favorite festival just with the vibe that it has. It's not too big, it's not too small. It feels like family. It's nerdy and fun and playful. This felt a lot like that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to all of my patrons out there who help make this possible and make all my dreams come true. And huge thank you to the BJC and the awesome staff that helped make that possible. And thank you so much for inviting me out. I had such a great time. I hope you'll consider me again in the future. Regardless, I sincerely hope I get to come back. It was a blast. Thank you to all of everybody and I'll see, I'll see you later. I can use my TARDIS piggy bank. Uh -huh. It's got the doctor in it. I thought there was no chance it would come anywhere near here. This is your English education. He said, just be thankful for the things you got. Sometimes it might not seem a lot, but it's more than some people ever dare to dream. All right. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. oh that's right, that's right. You're out of sight. Come on, baby. You're pure delight. Ain't no one else in the world I'd rather be. Come on. Only gotta have when you've been out. You only live it once, so you might as well. That's what the good Lord said to me. Just be thankful all the things you got Sometimes it might not seem a lot But it's more than some people ever dare to dream you Put a smile on your face and join the human race Come on baby, there's no disgrace Those people, they will smile with you Cause that's just what people do When you smile, people smile with you That's the only thing I want you to do Alright Only get to heaven when you've been a hell so You only live it once so you might as well that's what the good Lord said to me Keep it short and keep it clean Come on baby, you know what I mean You only get to heaven when you've been a new